the name of my book is Mean Dads for a Better America, The Generous Rewards of an Old-Fashioned Childhood. And the subtitle, that actually my editor came up with that subtitle because my title on my manuscript was My 1950s Childhood in the 1970s. <laughs> because I never thought anyone got it right. When you look at the 1970s, there's TV shows on HBO or uh, movies that are set in the 70s. And they always have, everybody is, always has long hair and they're, uh, they got beads on and they got um, uh, vests and, and everything's peace signs. And like they just got out of the Woodstock Festival. But that's not the way life looked to me in the 1970s. I was born in 66. So in the early 70s, my town looked like Mayberry. You know, the, the towns of America, they weren't like the swinging 60s and 70s. It wasn't the free love movement. Most towns were pretty traditional. And my town looked like the 50s. Kids had crew cuts. We were outside playing wiffle ball or stick ball and, and hide and seek and things like that. And we were scared of our dads. <laughs> Raise your hands if you were scared of your dad. There you go. See what I mean? Mean dads. You guys get it, the title. Mean dads. Yeah, scared of dad. I've been doing media for the book, and I, I go out, and you can always tell, I'll go in to meet with some millennials, or I'll be doing an interview at, at Salon, or something like that, one of these websites, and they say, uh, well, um, abuse is a serious thing, don't you think? <laughs> say, oh boy, this is gonna be a long interview. <laughs> the thing is that, you know, when you grew up, you knew it, you knew it when you saw it. Mean dads weren't abuse, abusive, abuse is a real thing, we all know it is, and it's a tragedy. The mean dads in my town, like my dad, they had intention. They always, they were mean in service of raising good kids. But oh, they were scary. Me and my brother would wake up on Saturday morning to my dad. Just his breathing would wake us up. <sighs> and then I'd open my eyes, he'd say, get in the car. <laughs> he was like Darth Vader with a Boston accent. 